Hey guys and welcome back to another episode of the Kendall Jenner house building series. So for this episode I will be furnishing um, a little bit more of the first floor. I won't be furnishing the kitchen quite yet because I haven't found the perfect counters yet um, and I will be furnishing a bit of the second floor so I will be doing a spare bedroom the walk-in closet um, a bit of the master bathroom but that's not finished and a laundry room so that's all for this episode um, so I went CC shopping by the way a few days ago uh, and I did find some beautiful new pieces that I will be using through this build. Um, so one of those pieces is this beautiful dresser and the little knickknacks on top of it. They, they are from um, Peacemaker. I see his new set called... Um, Oh my gosh, I forgot the name. Um, Edward Living. No, no, that's his old set. Edward Dining. That's his new set. So Edward Dining is a uh, matching set for his Edward Living set. And uh, if you are following me for some time now, you know that I always use the Edward Living set. So I was very happy when this new set came out and I will be providing you guys with a link to that set in the description of this video. Um, so I said in the previous part that I would move this lot or this house to a smaller lot and I did went to Willow Creek and I've placed it on the 50 by 50 lot size but I had some issues with the lot. So if you have ever built on the 50 by 50 in Willow Creek. That's the largest lot there. That lot is not level. That's like the only lot that I always have issues with and this time it was no exception um, so the custom content that I'm using in the sunken area so I have a sunken living room in this house um, all the custom content um, lighting so you have like the, the, the chairs and underneath the chairs you have like a um, how do you call it again? It's like a, a, a schaduw, but in English, a shadow. So there's a shadow underneath the table and the chairs. And that shadow was glitching, like really... I don't know vibrating so and that's because that lot is not level so I could not place it there so I went to another lot in Newcrest and the largest lot there is a 50 by 40 sized lot and the house did fit in there it was a tight squeeze so I just wanted to ask you guys do you mind the house being on a a little bit smaller lot and uh, with no landscaping um, surrounding it so the trees that I've placed do fit in but I cannot place any trees anywhere on that um, on that lot because there isn't any space left but everything that I did do in the previous part fits in is that okay for you guys and i will move it to that lot if you are like well no i want some landscaping then i will leave it here on the 64 by 64 lot size so leave it all in the comment section below the video what you guys prefer me to do um so here i am doing the hallway um I don't know it didn't look right uh, so I was just playing around with the shape um, of the doors and the hallways and in the end I do think it looks fine um, so for the bar that I did by the way you did see me doing a bar um, the bar isn't exactly the same as her bar um, I used some different colors and materials and that's because I couldn't find anything really matching um, but I do like how it looks and maybe I will add some custom pieces in a next video because I'm looking for uh, so glass um, how many glass wine bottles or no, not wine bottles uh cognac bottles and whiskey bottles to place in the bar so if i find that i will be placing that in the bar area in a next episode as well so yeah here doing the hallway and i didn't know which uh closet i wanted to use so there is a new beautiful closet in the edward dining set but it was just a little bit too narrow for this hallway so i decided to go with the get together closet instead um and i'm using of course some dressers from 
of Peacemaker IC as well. So there is loads and loads of CC from Peacemaker IC that I am using throughout this build. Um, just because I really love his design. So I'm using here this um, painting, by the way. That's a custom painting as well. I will be linking that in the description. And I think I will be modifying that painting just a little bit because I want the frame to be white and now it's a black frame. Um, it's not that it looks weird or anything like that, but I think a white frame would look a little bit nicer. So I will possibly be changing that to white for the next episode. Um, as for some custom paintings from Kendall herself, I will be creating those for this build as well. Um, but for now, I did place a painting from Kylie in the house, but that painting is going to change. I just wanted to see how that painting looked uh, in that room and I think it looks very nice. So I'm going to um, change that out to a painting, a black and white painting from Kendall. Um, so that's in this room. I placed the Kylie Jenner painting here, but it's not going to stay. So this is going to be the um, television room. It's a bit darker, um, cozier, and I really like the color combination of this room because black, white, and gray are my favorite colors to furnish. Um, so this was a very fun room to do for me. Um, so Kendall has a L-shaped color in this room and we don't have that in the sims um, I did have a, uh, a couch that I could shape myself but I thought that it looked a little bit too traditional for this build so I went with yeah peacemaker i see couches instead because i've been using them um, in the other living rooms and i really wanted to tie the style in in this room as well um and the um table that i'm using um so the large uh, square table is from um um, oh my gosh, uh, Around the Sims, an Ikea set. And I have to say, I love this table. I don't use it much, but I think it looks very nice in this setting. And I have to say, every time that I go to Ikea, I always go past this table because I always want to purchase it. Uh, but I never do because every time I look at it, I'm like, hmm, that's glass, it's white, and I have... A four-year-old daughter and she likes to uh, color on my tables because I have a white table here downstairs and that's an Ikea table as well but that table was 15 euros so I don't mind if she colors on it of course it's not okay and when she does it I do get mad but I'm like well it's only 15 dollars how mad can I get but this table uh, when I was looking I think it was over a hundred euros and if she would paint on that table i would get very mad so i won't be buying the table yet but i'm hoping that they won't discontinue it until i do buy it because i am planning to buy it maybe when she's six or seven i don't know uh, until she uh tempers her artistic artistic outbursts on my table and my floor and my couch and she even draw on my um on my oh my gosh on my walls i newly painted my walls uh this um summer so i've made everything really uh, an off gray whitish color and uh, i have also some really black walls so she decided to paint on my newly white walls and yeah i have to say i was not happy with that because it was a very expensive paint that i used um, because i thought she was over that face and she clearly wasn't um so that was a little lesson for me to to not buy anything uh very expensive until she's a little bit older um so yeah that's why i don't have the table yet and i'm really trailing off from the build um so this is uh, the television room like i said i'm using uh this is lg television but i didn't like the red um 
there was a little red line underneath the television which i didn't like so i switched it with a samsung television and i know i see the television is a little bit more to the left it not it's not centered and i will be centering it off camera because i saw it when i was taking screenshots that the television was a little bit more to the left than I wanted to. So I do center it, but you won't see me doing it on screen. So that's the Kylie painting that I was talking about. And I will switch that out with a candle painting that I'm creating at the moment. Um, so this is the first bathroom that we are doing in the house. And it's a very dark bathroom but i like the contrast between the very white living room and kitchen and then when you go into the hallway you have the very dark brown um how do you say that again uh, dressers and cabinets and then you go a little bit further you go into this black out uh, bathroom and i really like the contrast it's not too um boring with everything's the same so i really like um, this little bathroom here and this is the first of I think there are uh, let me see there is three bathrooms on the second floor and I think there's one on the third floor so I think there are like five bathrooms in this house if I am correct and um, there are three bedrooms no four bedrooms no three <laughs> <laughs> there are three bedrooms, one gym and um, loads of living space in this house, if I am correct, because I don't know anymore. <laughs> um, but yeah, so I had a lot of fun just building uh, this house and I love that I have like this um, 3D model to look at. Um, I did link it in part one, but if you guys... Uh, forgot about it or didn't hear me saying I uh, there is a link in part one to the uh, 3d walkthrough um, and it's amazing because you can really see how the house is laid out you can see everything and I do try and um, furnish everything like that I do think that candle changed some things because um, the layout of the house that you are seeing is from uh, the previous owners and the furnishing as well but I just absolutely absolutely loved the way they furnished it and I don't know what candle actually changed so I don't know but I do like the house as it is now um, so playing around with paintings um, those are going to disappear again because I thought they were a little bit too big um, and I think I'm going with uh, a little smaller and thinner frame in the end um, so when I was furnishing this uh, and I was going into the uh, spare bedroom I saw that my wall height was way too big so um, I am building with medium wall heights at the moment and I will switching it I will be switching it to the smallest wall height at some point because it looked a little bit weird a little bit stretched and just too high um yeah that's it so these are the uh, paintings that I'm going for so these are from Peacemaker I see as well I think from his um Hampton Hideaway set, if I'm not mistaken. So here I'm starting with the um, spare bedroom or the guest bedroom. And I was placing this ottoman. And here I saw that hmm, the walls were a bit too high. So I needed to... Um, use the smaller wall height. And of course changed all of the... Um, windows to the smaller windows as well because they were sticking out a little bit and that just looked they didn't look nice um so that's what i'm doing right now and in the end i think you don't even notice the difference between the medium and the high or uh, the medium and the small uh, walls so it's all fine um so yeah that's basically it uh, for this part um i don't know if i will be talking the entire video because i've been sick um, these past few days and yesterday um, I just couldn't do anything um, I just went to work and when I came home I just 
couldn't do anything I felt so bad so I didn't uh, edit my video I did have everything ready I pre rendered everything I just needed to do my voiceover and edit some things but I just couldn't manage to do that so I'm sorry that this video again took me a while um, it's been becoming a trend and I'm so sorry that my videos are coming late every time uh, but yeah life happens and I can't stop that of course because this is just my hobby this is not a, a main source of income for me i mean i cannot live from what i'm i'm uh, making off my channel because i do not make a lot of money on, on this channel i think i earn like a 50 euros a month um so i get paid every two months so it's not not very much that i make from this channel so this is just a hobby uh, which i really really like to do i love building i love the sims this is me time um when i'm doing this this is just my relaxed time and i love doing this but sometimes yeah life gets in the way and i can't record so i hope that you guys can forgive me for that that i am really infrequent and i do try to uh, do this uh, frequently because i love doing this frequently um, and if i don't schedule things in then i never get to play which is also a shame um, so yeah this is the guest bedroom like i said and this is the same bed that i used in the kylie jenner house i just love that bed and it looked so very nice for this room so i was very happy to use it um, so this dresser is also from one of peacemaker i see his sets i think I think it's from um is this is he has like an electric set electric century set i don't know if i'm saying that correctly but i will be linking that as well i'm going to try and link all the sets that i've used from him but to be safe if you want to use everything that i'm using just download all his cc from his site because i usually use his custom content because i do think his cc looks the most beautiful in game um it looks very maxis max um so i really love using all his cc um also maxim by the way i love maxim his uh, items as well and i do use them quite a lot in game um so yeah almost finished with this bedroom it's a little bit on the larger size than the real life bedroom but it's fine um I just used some larger paintings to cover that up because in the real life house it's she has small square paintings because yeah I don't know because but that's not what I wanted to say um, so she is using some smaller square paintings but if I used a smaller frame the wall looked really large and big and that's why I sized them up just a little bit to give the illusion of a smaller bedroom. <laughs> um, and I'm here just playing around with the pillows. I didn't like the pillows that I was using. Um, and in the end I just go with these uh, black and grey ones uh, and with the white one on the front and I really liked that combination so this is almost finished here and going into the laundry room so these three rooms um, so this is the laundry room that I'm starting next to that you have the walk-in closet and next to that you have the master bedroom so I do change um, the the size of all of the rooms at the very end of the video um, when i was furnishing this i really had the feeling that the laundry room was just too big but only when i went into the master bedroom i found out that everything needed to move one tile over for me to fit in the uh, sauna because i really wanted to have a sauna in this build because i yeah i just thought it looked very nice um and she has like i don't know if it's a sauna but it looks like a little sauna area in the master bedroom of a master bathroom so i really wanted to implement that uh and i needed to move everything one tile over and it looked better because this is a narrow um laundry room and it's just a little bit too wide at the moment like you can see there's too much space and in the end i correct everything um and for the um how do you call it 
the walk-in closet i had some move object issues um, i don't know i just couldn't place all of the handbags like i wanted to and i did cut out a great piece of placing everything but i don't think that you guys noticed it uh, if you are looking at it but um yeah i do edit that uh, quite a bit um so yeah that's basically it for this Build. I am going to leave you guys here, I think, because I'm I'm hearing that my throat is going to hurt again. Um, and I'm just going to go to bed because I still need to work tomorrow. Sick or not, I always need to work. So I hope that you guys enjoyed this video. I'm so sorry that I couldn't stay with you guys until the end. Um, I am going to tune in some music for you guys. And of course, like every video, you can leave your feedback feedback suggestions everything in the comment section below the video oh and before i forget about it if you haven't voted for the next celebrity build don't forget to do so there is a poll in part one and i have to say selena gomez is winning at the moment so if you are like oh my gosh no i want um the courtney house to win or the uh what else was there um the taylor swift's house then go and vote in part one for your favorite house because at the end of this series i'm going to stop the entire poll and whoever has won that's the house i'm going to build so don't forget to vote in part one and yeah that's basically it for this build i hope that you guys have a great evening or if you are in america or somewhere else um a great afternoon um morning whatever i hope that you guys enjoy yourself and have a awesome day and i will see you in the next one bye bye